strange things happen in the Isle of Man. And in the 1930s, a mongoose named Jeff began talking to the family at Dawlish Cashin, a farm which used to stand up this way. Now my favorite story of the Dorby spook comes from the 7th of March, 1932. The family friend, Charles Morrison, was visiting Dawlish Cashin with his son, Arthur. Now, Arthur was an absolute doubter in all this balkanid about a talking mongoose. He thought it was all a big hoax, and so he had gone to prove this to himself. However, like a good guest, he responded politely to the high-pitched voice which greeted them when they entered the house. Hello, Arthur. To which I replied, hello. It then said, call me Jeff. I am an earthbound spirit. Before I saw you, I was gonna blow your brains out with a three penny cartridge, but I like you now. Quietness for a few minutes, and then loud knockings on the walls in various parts of the house. The Dolby Spook's voice then returned, chatting away happily from out of sight, hidden behind the cladding of the walls in the house there, or up in the rafters. Good old Arthur, it said. You're a great lad, etc. And then it took a turn at cursing the young fella. And then it sang a song, and then it banged loudly to the tune they played on a gramophone from up in the rafters. And then Jeff announced that he was off to have a skeet at the neighbours, and then was gone. It was all very strange, and Arthur couldn't explain how they were doing it, but still he felt that it was some sort of hoax that was going on at Dawlish Cashin, which used to stand just over here. And Arthur's account goes on. I stayed all night, sleeping in one of the lower rooms. This morning I was greeted with, get up you lazy blighter, in the same half-witted voice. It continued its chatter throughout breakfast, but having decided it was the pranks of Rory, Mr. Irving's daughter, I paid little attention. But when Mrs. Irving left to tend her poorly mother in Peel, something happened which changed Arthur's opinion completely. After breakfast, Mr. Irving was standing right by me talking, and through the window I saw the girl tending the sheep about a hundred yards away when I heard a terrible screech right behind me. It gave me the biggest fright of my life. The voice then said, Vanished! And I heard the patter of animal feet on the ceiling boards, and then no more. <laughs>